I couldn't figure out what was in that box. What's in this one? I had the backpack of some sort. Hey, is this uh, her stuff there too? Yes. Okay. Yep. Oh, All this. Cool. Yep. All right, cool. Thank you. There's adventures with the Hudson's and it's no apostrophe H U D S O N S. See, we buy storage units, mm -hmm. but with all this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you too. Have a good one. Oh, uh, we didn't get it. We're using they, our keys. It's theirs. They're all open oh, okay. that though. Oh. Thank you. Okay.
Oh, there's a way to destroy your box. Okay, so it only slightly damaged the box. That's all good. Thank hey you. Hey guys, yep, so I'm going to do a quick recap for you. It is now nighttime. So we have listed everything that you see here. 37 items. So everything's up on eBay right now on the store. Um, We've done that. I edited some video earlier, hit the gym. So we've had quite the uh, quite the day. Um, overall, pretty good haul. Um, as you'll see initially in the video, it's kind of hard because I just rush for it. I grabbed this uh, body massager um, right off the rip, uh, the truck, this drone, and then I can't even remember what else. There's four items that I just went in and swooped up. Um, it was nice that four of the high dollar value items were so close together. Um, I noticed that in one of the preview pictures. So once I saw this, I just went straight to it and kind of swooped in and grabbed it. That's why I didn't really show it to the camera real fast because there were other people rushing over there. Um, some highlights, again, the things I just mentioned, um, it's kind of the sneaker of all of this if i can actually find said item the shoes skate shoes this box looks so unassuming nondescript <laughs> nondescript these are actually like roller skates that kind of look like gym shoes but they're roller skates they're retractable not retractable oh roller they, they skates. are retractable okay yeah. and what did we list that for we listed for 149.99 and we expect that to be about a 15 dollar ship so that's a good deal for me right there uh, the CO2 generator was kind of a sneaker at 90 bucks is about what we think that we'll get for that. Um, overall, just really solid merch. Um, something to look out for at the bin sales. These, I can't remember, it's a, there's a number to them. Um, but there's these batteries and we've sold them in the past. And honestly, we probably could have waited till dollar day to pick this up. A1382s. So that's a MacBook Pro battery, and people buy these all the time to replace their batteries. You sell them really quick for like a quick flip at $30. So for five bucks, $30, it's gonna cost five to seven to ship this. Probably five bucks. I think that gets under the pound rate, just barely. Um, you got five dollars at stock cost, you're gonna have like five bucks at fees, 15, you make 15 bucks on your $5 initial investment. No brainer right there. Um, sometimes we see these a dollar day too, so you know the margins get even better. Um, overall, just some nice stuff. Again, the RC truck here, it works. Drone, got a uh, neck massager. Um, all of these kind of hair care items always sell really well. You have to check them and make sure they're not used, that they're used. Um, what I do is I clean them, take a quick, uh, what you might call it, uh, Clorox wipe, that's what they're called, to it. Uh, clean up super quick. And then I tell people in the description, hey, this was a store return. It is gently used. We cleaned it and I discount it. So like this was initially, I believe, for example, this one's $39.99 on eBay, brand new. Mine's $32.99 with open box describing that. And they still sell. I mean, the I mean, if you're sanitizing it properly and it was used once or twice as a store return, some people are willing to, you know, go ahead and uh, save a few bucks that way. Uh, so yeah, if you ever run into one of those that you buy, it's been used once, don't just pitch it or put it in your yard sale. You can still sell it online. You just have to be descriptive. I saw this right at the uh, end there, uh, this Ring Chime Pro. Um, it's an extender, a Wi-Fi extender for the rain, for any rain device. And uh, what's nice about that is I think it's going to be a super fast flip. Uh, it's not a heavy hitter. I think it's like 30, 40 bucks, but we'll probably sell it in like a day or two just because, you know, it's rain. Um, so, you know, half the houses in my neighborhood have it. Um, adjustable speaker stand, another RC car here, another massager. This one's actually more expensive than the first one I got, and it had survived for uh, quite some time before it got picked up. But yeah, overall, uh, pretty happy with the items. Um, it's not as big as last weekend, but I think last weekend was just exceptional. Um, we have a total list, running the numbers here, of $1,480.40. Our shipping is going to be estimated at $317 for uh, everything to be shipped out. That does leave a little uh, padding for uh, shipping materials. 
and uh, those costs as well, tape, all that, uh, the label. Uh, fees, uh, I estimate that to be roughly $192.45, and our cost of goods sold will be $185. So this is just a, a math example for you guys. This is when everything sells through. This day will have produced a profit of $785.95. Um, just a really rough estimate of the time spent. So we spent um, about four hours each acquiring the goods. So that's a total of eight hours work. That's getting there early, that's staying there afterwards and checking all the stuff and narrowing out what we actually want to keep that we grabbed. Because when you're initially rushing, it's not like you're comping everything that you're going through and looking it up. Um, and then, you know, the transporting at home. And then the time listed spent about a total of four labor hours on that. So 12 hours total, um, $785.95. And I didn't prepare for this, but I decided I did want to quickly discuss the time element here. So, of course, I hit clock instead of calculator because that started with a C and I'm on camera right now trying to do this in one take. Can't have that. Pressure, pressure, pressure. 785 and 95 cents. Uh, and then you just divide that out by the 12 hours worked. So that comes out to $65.49 an hour pre-tax. And I'm talking pre-tax on it because... I mean, who does, when people say they get paid 15 bucks an hour, they're talking pre-tax too. Um, and we all know that death and taxes are the only two things that are inevitable in this life. Tax man will get his. The tax man will get his, and so will the reaper. And that's, this is getting really dark. Okay. Really, really, really dark. <laughs> and I'm sorry to any dead people I offended. Oh, this was really interesting. So I'm going to open this up, even though it's a pain to get this back out or back in the box. Cause I'll just make Jessica do it. <laughs> oh jeez, look it almost killed me. So like, okay, like we're like kind of gym fitness nuts or whatever a little bit. And like, so it's got like stage two here power and this is supposed to be for like teenagers, right? And this like actually really does hit the chest here. Like I know this isn't a fitness channel by any means cause God knows that topic's been over been covered way too much on YouTube. But yeah, like, so you hit it to two and you're like, I'm like, oh, okay, for teenagers, I get it, cool. So you bump it up to like six, and this is for women. This is in the mid range for women. And I'm like, all right. And then like, I'm not kidding, like I lift. I have a pretty decent bench, you know, me, you know better than your deadlift, probably, <laughs> okay? So like, then like, <laughs> That's it for right. women. All right. To be fair, we did just work out. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then, like, if you bump it up to eight, still top of the range for women, um, bottom of the range for men. This is an eight. This is going to destroy my shoulder. <laughs> God. You got to do this thing for reps or something? Link one. It's like one rep and max there. Like, <laughs> what is this hydraulic? arm exerciser i don't know what we had this listed for but like it, when i comped it when i first saw it it seemed like 50 bucks or 60 bucks it's on the second page oh, of course it is um because <laughs> i turned it but yeah arm workout thingy 50 bucks 15 ship like it's half tempted to keep it but i just don't understand like there's no way like this is the t like Jesus. One rep, one rep in your your chest. You can feel your chest yeah. and like your back. Everything. Yeah, I don't know. Room. Like it's crazy, but like, <laughs> like they're saying four professionals, twelve and sixteen, sixteen through twenty. Like, like that's crazy. Like, I don't know. Am I gonna hurt myself doing this? You probably. You probably shouldn't. All right, let's do it. So like, okay, this is twelve. I'm a professional. <laughs> I've been lifting for four years. Okay, God. It is not easy. That's going to be your new tagline. I'm a professional. I am. Pro picker. Professional. Okay, anyways. <laughs> so this went on way longer than I expected. So really good solid bin sale day. Not as heavy as last week. We did probably... Well, I don't know. Regardless, this was all great stuff. 
for where we're at right now, fourth quarter, this is probably the Amazon bin sale that matters most other than the one that we previously had when it comes to Q4 restock. After this next weekend, yes, we're still going to get hit hard, but there's going to be some people worried that things won't get shipped out on time, that kind of stuff. So I'm really expecting some of this stuff to move this weekend and early into next week. And uh, really excited about it. I mean, RC, drones, all the kind of stuff that people want to put under the tree is kind of like the secondary gifts or things you get for your uh, cousin or nephew and whatever. So with that being said, great day. Even better video. So, like, <laughs> so make sure to like it. And please subscribe. I'm at like 599 subscribers, hopefully over 600 by the time I set this, or mm -hmm. you see this. Mm -hmm. 750 by the end of the year. And why should you subscribe? Because you get to watch all kinds of cool picking stuff. I hit thrift stores. I hit flea markets. I'm trying to think what else I do. Yard sales when it's warm-ish. Um, what else? What else do uh, I do? What else do I do? Uh, estate sales. Estate sales. Yeah, I hit those too. And then I share what I sell with you, tips and tricks, tons of value. And you know what? I'm going to do this for you for the low, low cost of nothing. What? I know. Isn't that amazing? Nothing? So please like, subscribe, share the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.